Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Upgrade SBCs came out today. The market is crashing. There is lots to talk about after the Monday content and everything that we got on Monday in FIFA Ultimate Team with the new uh, subset, two lower leagues of Team of the Seasons with MLS and Latin America Team of the Seasons coming out in the game, as well as the Upgrade SBCs, again, as I did mention, which is causing a lot of the market to drop. The first thing I have to talk about today is the league on rares. And a lot of people were coming at me saying, yo, man, you told me to sell when this guy was 1900 coins because you thought it was overinvested, which I did. But EA went out and dropped a madness today and required 11 league one rares for a player pick SBC, a player pick SBC. But you do get five choices. So that is a bit OP. Um, I just don't understand why they released this. We want packs EA. All right. Why didn't we get a like 81 plus, even if you just made it one player, like or 82 plus one player? I don't know. I'm just kind of bummed with these packs. Although I've seen people get a lot of good stuff from them. I have seen multiple Mbappes, Benetters, and Neymars on Twitter. People are sending me these. So give a couple a try if you want to. They cost 30,000 coins per SBC. So there's a lot of coins being drained off the market, which is why you're seeing so many cards drop in price today. A lot of out-of-pack specials have just dumped today in price. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. And when you can start maybe buying some of those for Thursday flips, for sure. But that's why the, the market's losing a lot of coins. There are some people making tons of coins today that held their League on Rares. And maybe they're selling them and doing half, selling half of them and then some putting in, them into packs. So if you held your League on Rares, GG. Again, this is why I don't like relying on EA for SBCs and relying on EA to drop something, right? This could have very, very easily been a League One upgrade pick with only three options, and then they only required six League One rares. In that case, I feel like the half cutoff of demand for the League One rare cards um, could have, you know, made their prices drop and or stay the same. So, um, yeah, that was crazy today from EA. I was not expecting this. Honestly, I'm still a bit bummed because it's a player pick, all right? We want the packs, EA Sports, the packs, all right? We did get an 81 plus double, which these cost 8,000 coins to make instead of 30K. If you want to try your luck with a few of these, definitely a lot cheaper. And you have the availability and the possibility to pack an MLS or a Latin America Tots card. A lot of juiced cards that EA put in here today. Ridiculously juiced cards for the MLS and for Latin America Tots. Pozuelo looks like a beast. Of course, Vela Martinez, Josef Martinez, and Oparo were all extinct today for a period of time. Uh, Vela, which these cards look saucy, man. I know it's got a three-star weak foot, but that's a really saucy looking card. That's a beast. Josef Martinez is going to play like a monster in game. I mean, he was really good last year at the end of the year with a few of his player of the months. Uh, even as a player of the month this year, but this card's going to be really, really good. Four star, four star, 99 finishing, 99 agility, 99 balance. It's going to be a really good card. And then this Opara center back, dare I say, could be one of the best, if not the best, statistical center back in FIFA Ultimate Team. 96 pace with 99 agility, 94 balance, 99 reactions. Uh, is actually the, his. Defending stats need a bit of a boost. So I think I might throw like a... What, what does Flippin say? They throw a Guardian or a Shadow. I think I would throw a Guardian on him for sure, man. Uh, that's not a Guardian. Yeah, a Guardian makes him a 98 rated center back. You boost up that uh, dribbling a little bit in the composure. And you go max on the defending stats. That's the most important part. You go max out those defending stats with a Guardian chem style. I guess you could rock a Shadow too if you want to get that acceleration all the way to 99. But this is a stupidly good looking card. Um, which is why it's got a lot of hype. And that's why he was extinct today for a long time. Of course, it is hard to link. Just like these Latin America Tots are, they're hard to link because of their nations and their league. But if you've got some icons, maybe some specific icons that link to these cards could be uh, very, very good in their team. Tevez uh, with the Common Bowl card earlier this year, that's a beast looking team or beast looking card. This Fernandez is actually drawing a lot of hype. Club 90, except for defense and physical, four star, four star. Really, really good stats. What are his work rates? High, medium work rates. Yeah, this looks like a really fun card to use too. So this guy's drawing some hype. Only 100,000 coins for a card like this in FIFA. It's crazy how low prices are on this market. Seriously, across the board, it is honestly wild. 
how low some of these prices are. I've got the SBC squad ready, set to go, a full squad of French players, right? I'm trying to tell EA that I want French players in my team. There's a lot of League One guys in there, and I even named it. I love EA, right? I love EA, all right? Give me, give me an Mbappe, a Ben Yedder. We're trying to do all the little pack superstitions for uh, the upgrade packs that are coming out this week. And again, I'm really thinking I'm going to hit the upgrade packs on Thursday really, really hard. I think those are the ones that I want to grind out because um, they're going to guarantee you three rares, and there's just not a lot of rares in... Um, there's not a lot of rares in League Gun, so you have a really high opportunity to pack some of those cards this week through the tw the 25k pack upgrades that will be coming out on uh, on Thursday. So that's where I think I'm gonna grind. I'm gonna buy a lot of rares this week. Probably start going unassigned on maybe Tuesday night or Wednesday after I'm done opening some packs. We will see what happens with that. But you can tell I've started to buy some of my weekend league flips already. One common theme here: all. French nationalities, right? All French nationalities. Lacazette, I pointed that guy out to you guys yesterday in my video. Uh, I did not expect his price to drop this far. The dude is 300K. And if you look at some of these graphs, it is honestly ridiculous how much some of these cards have dropped. And you can tell that it is just people trying to get quick coins because they want to do SBCs on this game. Look at this, bro. Look at all the open bids. Open bid Lacazette, 150,000 coins start price, right? There was another open bid just before this. I saw when I was scrolling through. Boom, right there. I've already got it watched. There's just so many open bids and so many undercutting, uh, so much undercutting on these cards that just to me screams uh, that people are selling cards to go and to do upgrades. Take a look at the drop on Full Birthday Lacazette today on both consoles. PS4, 316, Xbox, 285, right? 367,000 coins right before the content dropped today for Lacazette. Dropped all the way down to 315,000 coins where he is still chilling. And if you look at his daily graph, he was 466,000 coins just three days ago. Three days ago, this card was 466K on the PlayStation. Now he's 316, right? He was 366 on the Xbox. Now he's 285. These cards, I don't think are going to drop too much lower because yes, some people are going to continue to do some upgrade SBCs, you know, for the next two days. But most people, I think, go out and hit the upgrades Monday and maybe a little bit on Tuesday. And after that, it's all about the guaranteed SBC and getting ready for weekend league with people's uh, clubs and with people's coins and what they're doing in the game. So I would really start to look at, since this is probably going to be some of the peak of the panic selling on a lot of these cards, I would really start to look at buying cards that if you want to buy weekend league flips, right? And again, I'm really liking the French links. League Un and French links uh, are good for me. You know what? I saw an interesting price tonight. I'm surprised this card hasn't really risen up that much yet. Moses Simons, 124K. Um, this is kind of the lowest he's ever been. 125 uh, a couple weeks ago. But he was 150, 160 on Friday before the drop. Even on Sunday, what was he? It was 140, you know, 130 to 140. And then today, with everything that went on, he dropped down to 119 in the in the panic. I love this guy, 120,000 coins-ish on the uh, PlayStation and probably like 90K flat on the Xbox. I'm a big fan of this guy because this, this guy's going to make it into a lot of people's teams uh, and people will buy him for the weekend league depending on who they pack. If they pack some Lee Gun cards, I'm kind of a fan of that card right there. But most other team of the seasons, I would not recommend buying. I would just kind of look around the market, right? And do some searches. Basically, just search all cards in FIFA by the French nationality right here. Go to FIFA 20 players, drop it down. Nations, popular, France. Boom. You can scroll down through this list and look at some of these cards and say, okay, if I look at the Tots squad, right? Where do I see holds? Where are there positions and price ranges that are not covered in this squad? Well, uh, strikers, right? First thing I notice is strikers. We have Ben Yedder, we have Mbappe, we have Osaman. So Osaman is pretty cheap, 180,000 coins, but he doesn't link well, right? He's in League Gun, but he's from Nigeria. And Slomani, right? I don't think many people are going to want to use that card. Are there any French strikers that are usable, that people like to use in this game, that are, you know, in the 100k to 500k category? Because if you can't afford Mbappe or Yedder, it's going to be tough to find some cards. So I just go in here. Positions, uh, striker. Let's see what French strikers we have. We've got Thierry Henry, multiple versions of Mbappe, Franck Ribéry, Benzema team of the season, 
Uh, Alexander Lacazette. I like this one because he's the best French Prem striker. And uh, it's a really good card. Foot birthdays are decently rare on the market. I'm also kind of a fan of Griezmann this week. Even like Griezmann's ones to watch is in form. Ben Yedder's other versions probably will do well. This Anthony Martial card I think will do well. I mean, I remember flipping him last year, right? If people need links, right? People have a lot of French cards already in their teams. That's why I like a lot of these French out-of-pack specials and even icons as well. Uh, there's no French center backs in uh, Ligue 1 Tots. There are zero. Zero French center backs, right? So there's new, no new French center backs that have come out in the game this week. That makes me think about other cards um, that came out that maybe have some hype. Mukiele, right? This guy's 190K, I think. Is that about right? Maybe 200K? This guy, like the 190s, low 190s, if you can get in there, I think is fantastic. Just kind of look at their graphs. This is how you can realize and think, hey, is this guy going to be a good investment for this weekly? Take a look at their graph on Footbin and see if they've been fluctuating the past few weeks. So Mukiele has been trending down in price, but you can see, look, Saturday, Sunday, 267. Actually, he went up in the midweek there. That was for Bundesliga team this season. That His graph is backwards that, that week. But look what happens after Bundesliga, right? He drops all week last week during Serie A. People still want it for the weekend league. 227 on Thursday. He bumps up to 240 on the weekend. Not a huge rise, but you're seeing that he is constantly going up on the weekends. 272 up to 290, right? What about this one? 330 up to 340. So not some not huge rises, but with this week needing a lot of French links, if somebody packs Awar, if somebody packs um, Lala and Savonier and they want to kind of bring those two together and just get an extra French link or two in their squads, you might see a guy like this do pretty well. And I like his price because he's already dropped off a lot. I'm a little bit scared with this guy. I'm a little bit scared with Upa Meccano because, yes, he is very, very good in this game. But he hasn't dropped off that much, right? He's only down 40,000 coins since Bundesliga team of the season. I would like to see this drop another chunk, and I think it will during Ultimate Tots. But this could be a guy who maybe rises after Weekend League Rewards this week as well. So that's just something to think about. When you're looking through... Uh, special cards this week. Maybe left wings as well. Position left wing. That's why I'm really focusing on French cards and icons because I feel like people need the French links. There's a lot of hype around the squad and icons obviously link to anybody. So that's why there's more, there's hype for icons. And we've been seeing icons rising basically every single week, especially guys like this, right? This is a very, very popular icon that gets flipped on Thursdays. Last week, I bought this guy at three. Wow, dude, are you kidding me? He's down 100K. I bought this guy last week at 390 and I sold him for 477. He's now 300k, dude. I know that guys have come out like Ronaldo Sanchez, like Awar that maybe have some decrease the value for this guy. Uh but dropping down 319. Look at this drop from today. I got to show you this graph. This graph this graph is crazy, man. Started this morning 369 all the way down to 297 at one point. 297 at one point for uh, Prime Makalele. 600k for this card. No way. It was 800k this weekend. What? This is wild, man. Five, he was 540, excuse me? Wow. Wow. That's ridiculous. This guy was 540k after being 740k on Sunday. That is crazy. So there was definitely a lot of panic today, and you're just seeing it on the market still. Uh, like that Conte center back card that I was looking at, right? Very rare, very usable. A lot of people like to run this card in a five back formation. He was over 400,000 coins earlier this weekend uh, during the weekend league. And now he's 300k flat. This is a very, very rare card. That's why I'm a fan of him. That's why I picked a couple up on open bids under 300,000 coins. Uh, Varane honestly isn't a bad shot either. Just a, a very linkable. Some people need the La Liga links for other cards they have in their squad. I like staying in for Thursday flips this week. I like staying in the like 50, 60 K all the way up to 500 K range. I don't think I'm going to go with too many cards over 500 K just because of the fact that I think a lot of people are wasting, wasting coins on these SBCs, the upgrade SBCs in here. Uh, also today we got this Nani card. I don't know if I talked about him. I don't think I did. Five star, five star. This, this guy looks pretty awesome. Very, very craftable. 99 aggression, right? Is that 99 aggression? 97 acceleration. So this guy could have some sticky. Looks like a really good wing player. Five star, five star. So that's pretty cool. GGCEA on that one. And I think that was about all the content today. Upgrades. 
uh, that SBC, and then maybe one more uh, like Liga and Challenge. I don't know if this was today or not. Uh, but yeah, that was kind of our content for today. And again, the market is really, really falling off. Do I expect it to rise a little bit in the next couple of days? Yes. Is this going to be the lowest? I honestly think tonight into Tuesday might be some of the lowest prices that you see on the market for the out-of-pack special cards that are getting sold off because people are going to start to realize stuff is getting too low and they're going to go out and start to buy. So that's something that if you want to make coins this week, you can look at right there. Last thing I'm going to talk about, high rated golds and middle rated golds, right? 83s, 82s. I still am kind of a, I'm kind of a fan on these. Like some of these 82 rated cards, I still think are overlooked. Like you guys always talk about Oyarza ball, right? What about Suso, man? This car went to 3K during La Liga Tots. He went to 2K last week. He's a thousand coins right now. Even though we don't have as hype of, um, we don't have the Eredivisie and CSL, which are the more hype, uh, lower level leagues. The way they juiced MLS and the Latin America Tots, I'm kind of a, uh, a fan again. If they make that MLS or Latin America Tots guaranteed SBC, whether they do one and combine them again or do two, uh, it's probably going to be 83, 84 rated, uh, possibly 85, probably just 83 or 84. And I think you would see a lot of these 82s rise again. So if this is something you're interested in, 82s and some of the good linking 83s are a fan. I'm a fan of 84s look solid to me still. 85s are ris have, ris have risen up a little bit. 86s are still a, a GG buy for me as well because I think these guys are going to go up a decent amount this week with the League Untots SBC probably being 87 rated. I think they're going to make it 87 rated just because you have the, the possibility of packing Ben Yedder. You have the possibility of packing Neymar and Mbappe. Since all those guys are included, uh, I do think you're going to see uh, this SBC for the guaranteed League Un probably be an 87 rated squad with a Tots. So with that being said, I like the 86s for uh, the filling out the rest of the squad. I think those will go up a decent amount on Wednesday when the SBC should be coming out. It's finally good to see some of these cards getting supply as well. But yet there's 5.4 million. If you paid 7 mil for this card on the weekend, who are you? Come on, man. All right. You know how it's going to go with these TOTS cards. They're not done dropping either. These guys are going to drop a little bit more. Uh, if you have to have one of these for your team this weekend, your buy time is probably going to be in the next 24 to 36 hours before Wednesday's guaranteed SBC would come out. So that's something to, to remember and something to think about with these League Untots cards and just something to be mindful of. If you really, really, really want to buy one, let's say you want to buy Lala. This is a guy that's going to do very, very well. He's going to bounce around a lot. He doesn't really drop as much in price as a lot of these other ones do. He fluctuates around a lot. I've seen this guy at 340,000 coins and I've seen him on footbin at like 320. So he gets undercut. I don't see this guy getting packed from upgrades a lot. So we'll see how this happens in the next two days or so. But if you see this card at like 300K, that's a buy from me. Even like 310, I think I would get interested in this card unless EA drops some massive content uh, or drop some big time information in the next two days that would make things not rise on the market. I'm a big fan of this card because everybody's going to need a right back to link some of their new uh, League Un cards together from the cards they pack from rewards, SBCs, and stuff like that. But we are in a full on market crash at the moment because people are selling everything because A, Ultimate Tots is coming, and because B, the upgrade SBCs, people want to hit them. People want to hit these upgrade SBCs and they want to try their luck and try to pack an Mbappe and Neymar, all of those guys, you know, so they're going out and they're dropping all of their coins on these SBCs, which is crazy. But if you do want to make some deals, if you do want to make some coins headed into ultimate tots, I know a lot of you guys are not done trading. Definitely take a look at some of these out of packs, French and icons cards. Uh, for this week for flipping and I think right now it's not a bad time to start nibbling at those and maybe starting to buy a few kind of like I did today One way I like to do things as well is I had six million coins today. I've spent almost half of that. I did probably maybe like 250,000 coins worth of upgrade packs just a little bit ago just to try it out uh, and then I bought like almost 2.75 mil worth of uh, These cards, right? I, I just put 2.75 mil into specials and honestly, uh, I would like to keep myself kind of grounded and have some cards on the transfer list so I don't spend all those coins doing upgrades later on this week. But if you are looking to start to stack just regular rare golds for the Thursday upgrade packs, uh, I would highly recommend 
starting to get on some of those soon. Uh, like this is a guy that a lot of people buy because he's cheap. This stock. Uh, a lot of these cards are like 750 to 800 coins, so you can start mass buying these if you want to. What is really going to help is if we get a tradable pack supply SBC at some point during the week this week. That will help out if you're trying to stack rare golds for the Thursday upgrade SBC, which should be pretty good. Should be pretty OP, I would say. I think it'd be a pretty good SBC, so watch out for that. And of course, be careful with the market. I do think we'll get some sort of content today. Tuesdays have been kind of like a mix. They've dropped some good SBCs before. Other times, Tuesdays are just kind of eh. Uh, so we will see what they drop today on FIFA Ultimate Team. If you have any crazy pack pulls from doing these SBCs, let me know. Send it to me on Twitter or put something down in the comments down below. If you have any crazy pack pulls from doing either of these SBCs, please let me know. And hopefully, I can get this TOTS counter to like... At least in the 80s, man. At least in the 80s on Thursday and maybe with a couple tots pulls uh, later, earlier on this week before we hit the Thursday upgrades. But Thursday is going to be a big time grind day for me, I think. Hopefully, with these cards. Should be a fun one. Uh, should be a good one. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.